This is... This is... Love. This is... This is... This is... This is... Love. This is... This is... This is... This is... Love.
And you don't know yet how long it takes to die of pain. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release him. As you wish. <coughs> Don't make me destroy you.
love rising in this city of sin His wings broken for the moment, feet smacked to the ground He will walk for the duration of night as it fades out And you can see the brittle glass bones as magic hour passes You can climb skyscrapers and use the windows as glasses His back bends, at angles unrecorded He'd do anything to get his vertebrae reordered He bartered his sanity for a walk among monoliths And this emptied out street was the last thing that bothered him it was a moment as if sun chased the blink of an eye And he was running to cold rock, but he was followed by fire It was a sun-moon saloon fight, when the orcas didn't bloom right The heliocentric world had a venomous bite And then white out and permanent ink mixed to make a moment Where this man would view Earth tilt through a blown lens As it rolled defeated on that universe floor He still walked, gravity still worked But it was not without struggle that his feet touched crust And as every second passed, the sun traveled up And the minute the blue planet stopped rolling he would fall into the sky and wait for the next morning As he fell upwards, his head would hit cloud cover Celestial skull crack, skyborne concussion he would never spill his marbles, he knew his bones well He'd hit the sky a million times, but his face would never tell The clouds before the morning hit were ever denser than granite But his bones would reassemble, his face remained scarless And although the upwards plummet had never caused him much unrest At times he wished to sink through the scarlet clouds of the sunset But as long as he came to the next morning walking He could try again to escape his dream and make his true god an offering But as if now his head headed towards five senses deadened And his soft orange light was coming sooner than expected The bones of his feet, they were less and less pressured Until gravity would give way and his frame would be rejected if there was ever an example of a split second detective, it would be this wingless wanderer with a splintering perspective. He wrecked it, bad, and his eyes would never rest, nor would his demons find him in his celestial address. When gravity flipped, he'd reach out, and was desperate to hold on, but his hands would be as soft as the clouds that knocked him unconscious. His silken bone structure wavered in morning wind, and the air holding him down vibrated. His favorite hymns would be a lovely fall as lighted windows rushed past him, and the pastel technicolor busted through night's casket. It was duality that kept him, maintained. His dreams was sleeping in cloud lining is easier than it seems. I guess I'll just keep walking, keep walking, I guess I'll just keep walking and walking. 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 Daylight by daylight, he'd wait right until his broken body made the same flight And sometimes the memory of his previous joke of an AM would tickle and bite him at the darker side of his brainstem But it never quite surfaced as legitimate recall His thin illiterate feet had always failed to read the rainfall And these saturated streets acted his path to his nowhere He would walk cold but curious through his handmade delirious And next time the dawn cracked, would he fall up forever? His thought would always ask him as he fell into frescoed heavens The wind would cut skin as his journey up progressed but rest assured, the rest occurred beneath his brainwave's crest So there he traveled, and troughs of thoughts unraveled Baffled by the sky and how oh so fast he traveled He was a tragic comedian, first hand feeling the medians His fleeting vision treated him to love taps that weakened him And he was on the cusp of finally waking up But for fear of his own discomfort, he chose to stay trapped The fact that he laughed at Mobius, loop lucid dream life Unorthodox at best in this post-nuclear bedtime If he could only get himself to look at his beaten dreams He would quit this horrid cycle and regrow his Things. He wouldn't have to leave what he loved about the sunrise. He could simply soar above his hate and finally let his tears die. I guess I'll just keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. I guess I'll just keep walking and walking and walking. I guess I'll just keep walking and walking and walking. I guess I'll just keep walking and walking and walking. I guess I'll just keep walking and walking and walking. I guess I'll just keep walking and walking and walking. I guess I'll just keep walking and walking and walking. I guess I'll just keep walking.
dogs chasing the rope tails and being ripped out shedding scales hippie teeth in the room for real I sit back while my mean to me the spill surviving on the wrong they can't really be down with what I'm trying to say is disconnected strong arm my self esteem for some more affection in these stagnant times my designs are making direction to the shape of smoke and poking words to float out to my joke and I'm killing time I'm hugging emotions with this tourniquet I'm kidding I'm trying to make sure all these puzzle pieces fit but not missing the magic time 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 to clean this lake make a new fucking scratch Explanations pouring free as I suffocate myself with paper and pen. Everything is falling apart again. Constantly, my brain's like a caged animal clawing at the walls, just trying to break free and unfocused. It's the only way you'll see the message that I've said. The mood I've been fighting. What that shit? I can see in, in that ways of understanding those things that happen to us in life, that changes our lives, that causes upheavals and shock. <laughs> Full of hatred for mainstream normalcy. Next, we have another kind of uncomposed music. Very much quieter, but also strongly evocative. It is made of children's voices and strange bird calls.
one is always considered mad. You want to discover something that others cannot grasp. Because I gestured to use the atom elements for producing super beams. Beams of unthinkable strength and size. I was classed as a madman, a charlatan, outlawed in a world of science which previously honored me as a genius. Now, here in this forsaken jungle hell, I have proven that I am all right. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. 